This side story is a continuation of the epilogue of Volume 5. We begin with the Reaper Citadel base recently reclaimed, and it was cold and snowy as ever. Leno was still clinging onto Shin after the battle. She only had a thin layer of clothing and a Federacy coat, so she pretty much had no defenses for the cold. As she's still clinging on to Shin, Lena lets out a small little achoo sound. She apologizes to him as he suggests they should go back. Lena was blushing as she was about to fall over into the snow. Shin was taken off guard and pulled Lena's wrist, holding her up. She grabbed onto Shin and they were in an awkward position. Shin asked her if she twisted her ankle, which Lena gives him the it's fine answer, when really that's not the case since she was extremely fatigued after the battle. And Lena nearly fell over again, so Shin had to hold her up again. Then Shin tells her that he'll listen to any complaints she might have afterwards. Immediately after he states that, Lena shrieked as Shin picked her up in a princess carry and started to walk back in a pace much faster than Lena's usual pace. He tells her, If you're worried, hold on to me. Lena was about to say something, but he cuts her off, stating, I did say I'll hear complaints afterwards. You'll bite your tongue if you talk now. Shin's footsteps usually are silent. However, since he's carrying Lena, his footsteps were actually making sounds, which is unfamiliar to Lena. And she could vaguely hear his heartbeat as he's carrying her back to the base. The silence was a little despicable, Lena thought. So to break the silence, Lena asked him if she was heavy or not. This is a very important question, so Shin needs to choose his next words wisely. He tells her, Not really, you're a little heavier than a cat though. Lena's cheeks puffed up, but Shin didn't notice. But Lena didn't notice that Shin couldn't look at her directly in this state. In Lena's mind, she was actually looking forward to hiding her own embarrassment, but the only thing she saw was Fido waiting for them on the other side. Lena thought, if only this could be a little longer. Also, I'm assuming Fido is recording all of this, so if we do get another season, if this side story does get adapted, I would imagine this would be from Fido's point of view. But other than that, I have a few things I want to mention before I end this video. Firstly, I am not a man of perfection as I do make errors from time to time. So with that said, I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Yes, I made a few errors in some of my summary videos, but I'm going to address it right now. And I am only going to address the ones that are affecting the plot. So thank you to Zenry the Bard for mentioning this one. In the epilogue of Volume 4, I mentioned that Zelene was from the United Kingdom and created the Mariana model, which I worded it really weirdly. And that is wrong. wrong. So to clarify, Zelene is from the Giardian Empire, who took the Mariana model made by Vika, who is from the United Kingdom and used that as the basis of the Legion. And I think that covers all of it. So moving forward, I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't happen again. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.